Welcome, Sim fans. Racing 393. Um, again, we're on Assetto Corsa. Um, we've got a new update with a Porsche Pack 2. And we've got the Red Bull ring, which is formerly the Austrian A1 ring. Um, and today, what we're going to try and do is have a little test drive around the Nordschleife in quite an iconic car, actually. Uh, the Porsche 962C Short Tail. Um, better known as 962C, the C being from the great era, era of Group C uh, racing, which in my opinion is probably one of the best eras of racing. Um, I was never a great fan of endurance racing, I must admit. I've just seemed to have bypassed it a little bit, but I did enjoy what... Um, in more recent times, uh, the WEC at the moment and the GT3 cars and the GTE and so on, it's very technically advanced. I mean, it's very, very good. Um, a lot of the cars have gone into the hybrid era. I'm in two minds about that. I, I understand it. It's very, very impressive. You can't take anything away from the drivers or the designers or anything to do with the sport. Um, anything to do with electrics and MGUK and all that kind of stuff is is interesting as an engineering point of view. But this is out. Of, this is just pure raw engines and petrol and rubber. And these cars back in the day, um, this was actually this car here was actually produced by Porsche by the end of 1984. Um, it's a very um, iconic car. It was very successful in its racing exploits. I noticed that this looks like a little bit like the Rothmans colour scheme, I'm guessing. It's just that, I mean, I haven't looked at the liveries actually. I should look at that now, shouldn't I? It might have one there. Yeah, you can see that the car, the, the colours there, you've got, they're quite iconic. But then the, the, there's. No tobacco advertising, clearly, but they look like the Rothmans colours. Um, these other ones here, I'm not... So, I mean, the, uh, the orange one I seem to recognise. And the, this one here, which we're using, number one. So, we'll, we'll continue with that. Um, these cars did actually race around the Nordschleife, um, which is really good. Um, I'm just sort of looking up a few bits and pieces now. Um, it was developed in actually 1981, and it was supposed to be running in the World Sports Car Championship and the American, I think it's North America, from the, I don't know, might be, I'll say America, the IMSA GTP Championship. Um, but from uh, from what I'm looking at here, and I've got I've got a little book here about stuff like this. Stuff I got I, I buy books and, and never read them. Story of my life, isn't it? I buy games and never play them. Um, but the GTP regulations they differed from Group C. And this car nine, sorry, not this car, but the the Porsche nine five six was banned. Um, to do the regulations. I've got it here. I'm not going to bore you with why, but it was it was it was banned. So what they did to make it to make the 956 eligible under the new IMSA regulations, they extended the wheelbase and a few other bits and pieces, and there's some engine technications and so on and so forth. It went on, and eventually they came up with this 962. Um, and it competed against, the, I mean, it's another car actually that a set of course of need to get into this game, which would be amazing. They got the old Jaguar, which again was sponsored by a tobacco company, um, but you know the one I mean. So that would be pretty neat. If anyone's watching this from Kunos and thinking, what the hell is this bloke talking about? At least listen to this next bit. Get the Jaguars in the game. In fact, get Jaguar into the game. That'll be the first step. Um, 
Anyway, these 962s, just a little bit of information. They produced 91 of these between 84 and 1991. And 16 were officially used by the factory team. And 75 were just sold to customers. I'm trying to look down here now in the book. I'm not sure it says how much they were, but I suppose I could look it up. One of the most famous drivers that drove these Porsches is Derek Bell, a uh, five-time Le Mans champion, pretty good driver, actually. So it's got a great heritage. It, I'm just moving that out there, book out of the way. So it's got some great pedigree and heritage. I've never driven this. This would be the first time. So I'm, I'm not going to... Don't, don't expect... Well, as usual in my videos, don't expect... Don't expect me to not crash. So this is just practice. Um, also, I forgot it on race weekend, actually. No, so I've gone race weekend. I'll leave it on hard. Um, same, same class. Uh, obviously, I'm I don't think I'll get as far as the race somehow, but... Just in case. And we'll go along. So, I mean, you can see. I mean, I think this car's the nuts. I like, I'm, I must try and get a model version of one of these. They're pretty good fun. Uh, well, I'm saying they're good fun. How do I know? I've only done them on the PC. There's a PC game out, which has got a mod, a Group C mod, and I've tried, I've tried that, and that's pretty neat. Um, what I'm expecting is not a lot of visibility on this car, because they're like a, it's like a cop. In fact, it used to be nicknamed is coffin on wheels. I can agree with that. And now these have got covered canopies. I mean, they've had them for years. So all this, all this bullshit about Formula One, whether you want them to have canopies or not, and whether it's safe, and whether, whatever the reasons, whatever the reasons, and, and even my personal thoughts. There you go. This is testimony that can be done. These got canopies on. So what the just say so what the wheels are covered in. So there's no reason at all why Formula One can't do it. I'm not saying they should. You know, my my personal opinion. Is there open wheel? Open wheel, open cockpit. That, I mean, they've been like that for years. Motor racing is dangerous. It's a fact of life. <laughs> it's not nice when people get injured and fatally injured. I, I get all that. I don't want to see that. But it happens. Probably more... Even this era, when these used to... Remember when these things used to... They used to fly themselves to pieces take off actually another track that they want to do if anyone from Kunos is listening not only do they want the Jaguar hint hint but lo and behold how about Le Mans it's in many other games and you could have you know the night and day transition and bring it out on the consoles before the PC or at the same time as the PC Anyhow, I'm, I'm, I'm digressing. Here we go. But I know I'm not going to better finish a lap. I doubt, I'm not even sure I'm going to get a lap in and and done. Well, all I'm doing is literally test driving. So it doesn't really matter if I don't complete a lap. But it's long enough for me to chat and go around. So just put my headphones on now. Right, so as I said, which I can't hear myself. As I said, it's quite... Yeah. Again, it's very restricted. Can't see a huge amount. I can't look left and right on my switches, am I? Because they've 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 got default like button mapping, and left and right ain't on there. Although they have in this update, one of the updates, they've brought back the proximity arrows, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I I personally don't mind. Doesn't really matter. It's not as if I'm on the screen getting in the way. It's good that they kind of remind you that that's where the car is. Anyway, enough of this chat. We're already 10 minutes in. I'm not even out of the pitch yet. 
So let's see. Oh, by the way, I'm using my H pattern here. And clutch. So, oh, I can't see. Um, well, first impressions are it's got quite a lot of torque. I know I've got a car behind me, which if I move over, I'm pretty letting past. Go on then. One onto the favourite part of the course, one of them. It's got some torque, this car. It's quite a nice um, whine of the turbo. Nearly went off then, as usual. And I know the track tightens up up here, so... So I'm only going slow because I don't really know. I'm, I mean, the car I've not really been out in. So this is a first. I don't even know whether this car will have six gears or not. Well, if I get the right gear. I'm going so slow, my tyres are cold. It's got loads of engine torque. You can really feel that through the sort of the acceleration. You have to heel and toe on this thing as well. To give it like a a smooth gear change. I mean, the brakes work well as well, I think. I'm just not confident with this car at all. It really is. Plus, I don't really want to go off if I can help it. Well, no, it hasn't got six speed, so I should know that really from the the era. Oh. Well, that was cold tires. So we'll try and get round without having a big crash. 
I haven't got any mirrors. So I can't look left and right. Well, it doesn't like the uh, carousel on the edge. So we go around this way. What I find, you're doing a lot of left foot braking in this car, around this part of the circuit. That's probably what I'm going off. I've got it in a lower gear. It just spins the bloody wheels up. Need some heat in these tyres, which ain't going to happen, really. A little bit of airborne there. <laughs> Back on heel and toe again. So high, he doesn't like the old banked corners. Ooh. Yeah, had to go off, didn't I? Just understeered off then. Wonder what the top speed is. I mean, that's, that's pretty awesome, 108, I mean, this is flat out now, nearly 190 mile an hour, in these days. Bumping around there. Spits you off. Right, so if I put skip session, right now, overall, that's really good fun. That is really good fun. Um, the car definitely. I mean, it, the, the thing is with this, the tyre temps, I'm sure, pretty sure, if I got in one of these in real life, God forbid anyone that lent me one, but if I got in one, I don't reckon the tyres would be that cold, even even after I've driven it around there. So, a Santa Corsa, again, Kunos, if you're listening, can you sort the tyre temperatures out? It just drops off. Um... That reminds me, actually, I just want to change it. Yeah, it, it, I had the Sauber. I've just looked at that. The Sauber's in here, isn't it? That, that's, I forgot about that car. I have driven that one, but not very much. Yeah, anyhow, the, um, the tyre temps, so, that is sorting out, surely. Surely even a novice like me, the tyres will stay warm. And they, and they would grip more. No? I suppose it's, I suppose people might disagree. I'm just saying, it just seems to, the tyre temps, I mean, 80 degrees, they come out of the pits 
and I've got tire blankets on, so they're hot. And no sooner have I stopped and gone, they just drop. Blah. I know in F1 terms, I get all that. You know, in Formula One, what happens to the tire temps? I, I understand how it works. It's just a bit extreme for the game. Um, I'm not really sure it's worth doing a race. I'm just giving my thoughts. So, an excellent addition. It, it's it's with the hedge pattern. It's absolutely sub sublime. It's brilliant. Um, it would work better with the tyres hotter. It'd have more grip. Uh, if I was if I was just racing on my own, not filming, then I'd probably it wouldn't matter, would it? If I'd gone off, I think the point I'm saying is that yeah, it's, it's difficult to race on the limit, on even on a game, and try and talk and and do like a review or talk through. Hats off to people that do it and are good at it. I mean, I obviously I might, you know, if I'm, the more I did it, obviously I'd get better at it, but. Yeah, it's got a great this this car then. So it's it's it sounds good. It's actually got very nostalgic look about it inside as well. The sound is absolutely brilliant. The H pattern works well. It's quite responsive. You can actually feel the torque curve coming in on the power. It's turboed. Off turbo, it's a bit flat. It's. I mean, if you like your Group C, this is going to be your game. If you're not that keen on Group C, you can't not enjoy driving that. So, let me know your thoughts. I like it. And again, there's not, there's not a lot I don't like about this game, is there really? But I've mentioned a couple, tie temps and then what else? Maybe they need a few additions. Um, sometimes the sound can get a little bit distorted when you're behind another car, I've noticed. But that's not a game fault. I think that's just like a, a patch error. Uh, but yeah, I'm pleased with that. I might, I might do a race. I mean, these sort of cars will go around Silverstone or Monza, something a bit shorter, or Imola. I might do a race of these around Imola once I've got the hang of it. Um, and we can go from there. Um, there's obviously the short tail and the long tail. I'm not going to stand in and finish it off and try and explain the difference between the two. I do know the difference. Um, but just looking at that, that's a quick lap, and it's six minutes fifty. It's pretty impressive. I mean, you have to have a look back in the old history archives and see what they really were putting out around the North Schleife, So that'd be interesting. I know I can probably do like a. I think in one of my games, close to seven minutes. And I, I don't know. I think there's an achievement for doing like under seven and a half minutes or something on one of the games. I know I've done that. So. No, it's just the only driver out there hasn't got a lap time because I went off. Surprise, surprise. Anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. I'm going to go back to it now. And get, I might even do this race off camera and go from there. But um, look out for some more vids from Racing 393, uh, Sim Racing. Let me know. There's a, uh, how many people watch this? I mean, how many people are going to view this? If you are going to view it, at least put something in the comments. A thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. I've got. I've had people comment, actually contact me, but just put it on there. Put it on the comments. At least it looks like it's working. It'd be nice to hear from some people anyway. Anyone that's got the game, tried it, haven't got it, don't care about it, sim racing, real racing, whichever. Fortunately, I cross the line on both. I sim race and I really race. I don't know about saying I really race. Well, I race for real and sim. There's not a lot of difference between the two, actually. I'm exactly the same. So, anyhow, that's enough about me. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I'll see you again on the next video. Cheers.